Losers fight it. Losers die. They all flow! What's going on, everybody? This is Sean with Strangeland Oddities. We are here with Marlon Taylor. For those who don't know who Marlon is, uh, just picture back on Stephen King's original It, the original child of It, and also Z Nation, of another very popular show, like The Walking Dead, but with its own little twist. How are you doing today, Marlon? I'm good, I'm good. Thank you for asking How about you. Uh, it's been a busy weekend. Uh, got, got some good interviews in, met some new people. So, you're telling me this is your very first convention. This is my very first convention. Um, I had a ball. I really uh, was looking forward to coming out here. It was kind of everything I anticipated, and I look forward to doing some more. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, what kept you so long from doing these type of conventions? Um, you know, nobody ever reached out to me about doing these conventions or anything. Uh, I was telling uh, Brandon, I really believe that the resurgence or the new film brought a resurgence to the old one. And I think with the popularity of, uh, you know, the old movie kind of being bought for people to kind of be able to see the old one before they saw the new one, they kind of thought it would be a good idea to kind of bring us a... Uh, Oh, guys, back out, you know, 27 years later. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of controversy between the, the films where, oh, we like the original, we like the remake. What were your thoughts on the, on the actual remake? Um, I actually enjoyed the remake. Um, I enjoyed the fact that it didn't follow the same lines as the original and that the new kids made it their own movie. Um, I think that, that was great. Um, I didn't know what to expect, and so, like, being able to go in there... And, you know, the first scene is kind of hand-in-hand with the original. Right. But then after that, just watching the, uh, the turn and the trips that they took, I, I, I really enjoyed. Nice. So when you were a kid doing the Stephen King It, how did it go about you actually getting the role? And what was going through your mind as a youngster with, you know, doing a horror movie with a scary clown? Um... You know, I, uh, I love horror films, and so I was really excited to be auditioning for it. I love Stephen King as well. Um, it was a, a little bit of a tumultuous process, only because I had to audition so many times. And so, you know, there were times where I thought that I didn't get the role, even though I really, really wanted it. And um, when I finally got the role, I was, like, so stoked. And then to hear that we were going to film in another country, I was super stoked about that because I'd never been out of the country. We filmed in Vancouver, Canada. I mean, I know that's not far out the country, <laughs> but it's another country. So right. um, it was awesome. Nice. Now, when you were actually filming that, and did you get scared, you know, being as young as you were doing those type of horror films? Um, I didn't necessarily get scared. I think more so because I kind of grew up watching horror movies. Um, and then, you know, we met Tim Curry like during the sewer scene that we did. Uh, and I think he gave us enough during that to kind of be able to capitalize and build on in any other scenes that we did where he wasn't physically there, but was supposed to be in the scene with us. Right. Now, when they obviously changed from the kids to the adults. Were you able to be on set while they were filming with the adults or was this the kids only and then they did the adults? It was kind of, they did the adults. The adults were already shooting by the time we got down there. So the adults had already been up in Canada for a while shooting. Um, and then we got up there, we did three months. I think Ben, or Brandon, might have been the one who was uh, the closest with his uh, adult counterpart. John, um, John, John Ritter. Ritter. Yeah, uh -huh. rest in peace. Yeah, the rest of us didn't really get a chance. Yes, rest in peace. Thank you. Um, the rest of us didn't really get a chance to uh, really kind of talk to or really deal with our counterparts as much, I don't think. I know I didn't really. I, I can't necessarily speak for everybody else, though. So. Right. Well, I'm sure growing up, you know, that had to have been one hell of an experience to just come out of the blue, you know, being young as you were, being in a Stephen King film out of anything, did you think it was going to be as big as it is now? I certainly did not think it was going to be as big as it is now. Um, 
I mean, I knew it was a good film, and after it came out and people saw it and then kind of the reactions that we got from it, um, I was like, okay, cool. But I had no idea it would be where it is now. So. Right. And um, you also were on Z Nation. Yes, yes, Can, yes, For the people that are Z Nation fans and don't recognize them, what did you do on Z Nation? I was in uh, season four, episode nine. Uh, and I actually played a cameraman at a television station uh, when an airplane had crashed and we went out to go look at the airplane, find out what was going on. And this is kind of before the zombie apocalypse or kind of when it was first starting. So, you know, we see all these folks running around. We don't necessarily know what's going on. And then uh, my reporter gets attacked by a zombie. And then, you know, we kind of go back to the actual uh, TV station and the rest goes haywire from there. Season four, episode nine, check it out. Exactly. Now, would you ever want to be on another like zombie show like The Walking Dead or Fear of the Walking Dead or anything like that? So with Z Nation being my first ever zombie experience, um, I totally had a blast and a ball working on that show. Um, and then the makeup that I got put in to become a zombie was awesome too. When I actually got the role, I was hoping that my character was going to become a zombie because I didn't read the whole script when I got the role. And so when I finally read the script and saw I was becoming a zombie, I was like super stoked. Uh, that was kind of like an awesome moment. How long did it take for them to put on the prosthetics and all that? Uh, maybe about 45 minutes to about an hour and an hour and a half. It was pretty pretty quick. And each time you had the shoot, you had to take it off, put it back on, take it off? Uh, so most of the time what they did is they had me shoot as a zombie first. And then they went back and shot me as the normal person. So gotcha. they kind of kept everything in the same uh, in the same category. Yeah. Nice. So, you know, besides from it, besides from Z Nation, what do you have in the works right now? Um, right now, I'm just uh, you know still working with my agent up in Seattle, uh, Tiffany Talent, and um, just trying to see what I can do. It's kind of uh, hard up there in uh, Seattle a little bit. There's not a whole lot of. Uh, you know, unit, uh, excuse me, SAG work up there, so, you know. What I thought that they should have done with the with the new IT mm -hmm. is how they did with 21 Jump Street, where they brought in for little cameos, mm -hmm. like how they brought in Johnny Depp, Peter DeLuise, and mm -hmm. just for brief moments. I think that they should have brought you guys in as, not as what who you were portraying mm -hmm. in, in the movie, but a new character but have like a small cameo. That is actually um, what I'm hoping. I'd actually like to audition for, for the role of Mike, but I, I know that there's a lot of folks out there that that would probably be perfect for the role. But you know, even just a cameo I think would be great. You know, just kind of having us show up somewhere in the film and kind of see if anybody notices at all even. <laughs> mm -hmm. Be some good trivia. Yeah, it is. Um, this was kind of a off-the-wall uh, interview, so we didn't really have anything lined up, so we, we were just kind of improvising some questions here, but Marlon was cool enough to want to do this with us. And, um, you know, again, this is Days of the Dead, Atlanta, 2018, February 2nd through 4th. This is Marlon's first convention. Definitely look forward to him to some more conventions. Hopefully we can get them on some, maybe some Monster Manias, maybe some, uh, I'd love to be there. You know, um, Texas Frightmare, uh, Spooky Empire, Walker Stalker. Call me. Call him. He's ready. I'm ready. All right. Thank you, Marlon, for taking the time. Thank you. And again, everybody, this is Sean. I'm with Strangeland Oddities, and we are out. Out. <laughs>